Hi, this is Paul Acevedo of Windows Phone Central. We're here at the Autodesk Gallery in San Francisco. My name's Renee and I work for Autodesk. I'm the Sketchbook Community Manager. Okay, what are we looking at today? Well, um, I just started doodling here in Sketchbook Express, which is a fully functional Metro app. Um, so it's, it's very fun and very intuitive to play with it. Uh, using uh, any sort of Windows RT or Windows Pro device. It's got pressure sensitivity built in, which is like essential for an artist. I mean, like all artists, like, hey, you know you need that. You need the pressure sensitivity, right? Because you need to be able to do like light strokes and dark strokes. So I just started doodling when we sat down. Um, it's nothing in particular, it's just kind of a cute character. What's a quick rundown of your artistic background? So I went to school for animation and visual effects. I've always drawn and painted all of my life. Um, and I think of myself primarily as an illustrator. Because uh, I like to draw scenes. I like to draw sort of complete thoughts. I think there's sort of an allegory of like the story artist would be sort of my position. Whenever I look at a picture, I try to think about the story that happens behind it. Um, I started at Autodesk a couple of years ago, uh, shooting video for the sales team, and I just recently transitioned to this role as the community manager for Sketchbook. It's a perfect fit for me because I love Sketchbook and I love to draw, so helping a community um, come to fruition around this tool is, I mean, it's something I could do in my sleep. I love it. I love artists and I love drawing, so it's perfect. So what are some of the things we can do with this app? Um, well, Sketchbook is really, it's an art made by artists for artists. So they try to get everything out of the way just to get you drawing. You can see that the interface is super minimal and that's on purpose. Uh, we don't want things to be in your way, you know, not that we don't love other programs out there that do this, do similar things, but we just want to make sure that you've got as much space as possible to get going. Um, it's got a very simple tool set that you can uh, you can check out. It's, these are tools that all artists will be familiar with. There's an airbrush, there's a pencil tool, there's a marker tool. All these things are very familiar to traditional artists, and that's part of the point. We want you to feel at home. We don't want you to be confused by the tools. We want you to feel like you can just pick them up and start right away. The Metro app here um, doesn't have any of the extra features that the Pro app has. Um, that's sort of your carrot to sort of buy the Pro app. So you're not going to find some of this more special things like layers or brush customization uh, here in the Express app. But those features are in the Pro app. So the Pro app will give you full control all over layers, all over your brushes, and setting up your tools exactly the way that you want them. How about colors? Does this have color support? Oh yeah, of course. Sorry, I wasn't even like playing with colors. So you can pick just about any color you want. So I'm using the marker brush, so it's actually not going to color over that because it's just like a real marker. You know, if you had a yellow marker and you tried to paint over black, it doesn't work. You all know that as artists, right? So what we're going to have to switch to is switch to a different tool, like maybe the paintbrush tool. So now that we're on the paintbrush tool, the paint will go over. So maybe we'll give her some blonde hair. And then we'll add some color into her face.
having worked as a digital artist on other platforms, how easy is it to jump onto Windows 8 and learn this particular app? Well, I think it's pretty easy. Um, that's, that's my personal opinion. I feel like Windows 8 really lends itself to being able to um, to just get into it quickly. Uh, yeah, it's, it's so fast and so easy to just immediately understand what all your tools do and what you need to do to, to like make your art happen. It personally, and what I really love is that you can take it on the go with you. You know, you don't have to be like tied down to your desktop. You can take this cute little device with you anywhere that you want to go, and you can draw anywhere, which is great because I mean, sometimes you want to go draw in a park, especially as an artist. You don't want to be tied down to your desk all the time. Maybe you really do want to go somewhere, or maybe you want to meet your friends at a cafe um, and draw together, right? And that's something that you can only do at like land parties back in the day. You know, you log out your big old desktop. Like nobody does that, right? Now you can just bring this, um, and you can draw anywhere. You can draw when the mood strikes you, uh, wherever it happens, no matter when. And um, tell us a little bit about the the full pro version as opposed to this version. Oh yeah. So the full pro version gives you full control over all the layers. Uh, all layer, uh, like, there's tons of different controls you can do. You can do, uh, the word I'm looking for is blending modes, different types of blending modes for your layers. Full customization over the brushes. The brushes are locked down in this app so that they're just as they are. You can only change opacity or size or such. Uh, but with the full app, you can change the brushes to be anything you'd like. So um, those are both the really big tools that you're going to want to upgrade the app for. And even the paid version still works with a touch sensitive screen like this? Yeah, the, yeah, the paid version works great with the touch sensitive screen. Absolutely. So you get your pressure sensitivity um, and you get just sort of the natural feel of being able to use the tool as if you actually had a pencil in your hands. Great, well thank you very much. Thanks so much.